and, and, there's, and well, Met can work very differently than Winnetka or, or other places. And I will tell you, from my own experience in visiting other libraries, there's something about Wilmette that to me is very distinctly better than most libraries I've been to. And that, a lot of that's got to do with the morale, and it's got to do with the way that the, the, the people here in a, work with each other. And so, to me, there's that part of having a full-time HR person is to strengthen that and, to, and also to, right. to help maintain continuity with employees because they feel good knowing they've got one, someone here who can, who can support them. If they have insurance issues, if they have payroll issues. And Barb, by the way, is getting away from all that because it's a nightmare. It's just, it's time consuming, it's a lot of headaches, it's, 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 it's never, it's not a routine kind of job to do it. It's changing all the time. And there are people, again, who are HR experts, yeah. and that's why they're doing it. But again, I think from everything I've heard so far, my feeling is, and I don't want to belabor the this board meeting longer than it has to be, but that at least I think it's very much based on everything Heather said, it's worth a, a real big right. move forward to, to get a full time person, and we can always assess it later and say, if we don't like it, we can. Then we, we, it's yeah. not easier, right? It's not easy to eliminate the position, but we can certainly do it based on on, on budget concerns right. or on, on 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 total time that the, the, the role is, is taking. So well, it, it, it to also go ahead and hire somebody. It also. Uh, I, I think it's. I think it. Yeah. And, and Barb and stepped really away I from think it it's, because it's yeah. money well spent. I mean, yeah, I think so. Well yeah. done, HR. Yeah. Supporting our staff uh, and giving everybody a predictable, you know. And continuity and consistency. Oh, there's just so many, you know, legal yeah. issues and so many issues yes. that, that and, and an HR person. And things are growing in terms of the, the needs of an HR, an embedded HR person who understands the dynamics of a of a group of people as large as the library employees. Right. Uh, so that's that's how I. Yeah. yeah. I mean, but I, feel, I still think it would be a good idea. I think. And how, if what process first, are you going to do? Are you going to do to look for this person? Because you're. What process are you going to... Sure, and Kathleen oh, yeah. had a question. Okay, yeah. I was just thinking, yeah. I think it's a good idea if we kind of try to bring this these several strands together, okay. the the communications piece... And after February 1st, by the way, not first of the year, by the way, because it's going to take some time for things to after settle. After the first after of the January. year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. First, yeah. After yeah. the first of the year is, right, is exactly. January yeah. 2nd into infinity. Gotcha. So let's... <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. Infinity and beyond. But let's not... <laughs> <laughs> Calendar that for infinity. <laughs> so let's let's try and do it closer than yeah. infinity, but let's <laughs> but let's <laughs> let's have that after right the too. first of the year because I, uh, I am sensing discomfort uh, on the board yeah. in terms of understanding some of the personnel changes and things. So let's work on getting that done after yes. the first year. Agreed. Okay, but if you need me to put up the brakes on, I'll put the brakes on. I don't think we should pull the brakes on and so getting yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Or the creative I mean, that's services. That's not what Lisa uh, Lisa's, Lisa's asking for the breaks either. Right? Right? I just want an the picture. overall yeah, picture. Know, I've right? asked for that so, before. Yeah, so, yeah. Maybe because every yeah, time it's this service. ad, this exactly. ad, this ad, I just want the overall picture. Right. Okay. And uh, it sounds like you're not asking for a, uh, for a new org chart in particular. And what you're pr proposing. Mm -hmm. What you're proposing. And I'm just curious as to. Okay. Can, and that's yeah. why, like, and like Heather said, they're all coming together for the definite defining what these, the new expanded responsibilities and the defined responsibilities of these, these different positions. But uh, she has to know what the responsibilities yes, are. Yeah. She's hiring them even yeah, yeah. without a human resource. So we'll talk about oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. this. In January. Okay. That's the end. Um, it's not infinity. It's January. <laughs> Jimmy had a question about the process for the yes. HR yes. in particular yes. or for it's staff in, in general. Okay. Um, yes. It's being posted um, on the Rails, which is the library right. board, but also we're, we're using NPO.net, which is the um, nonprofit organization mm -hmm. um, job database. Okay. Uh, same for the creative experiences specialist because we wanted to get a diverse pool of candidates as much mm -hmm. as possible. And um, that means going outside of library land. The library world. Okay. <laughs> um, so that's what we're doing. I'm also working with management association with the recruitment and uh, they will help uh, they charge an hourly rate, so mm -hmm. we can do as little or as much as we need. So they will help with recruitment um, on their LinkedIn. Mm -hmm. So I think we'll get a lot of candidates that way as well. Uh, so we're going to be working in tandem together to do that. If we can't get someone before Barb goes part-time, mm -hmm. uh, because the timing is tricky, uh, there is a possibility that we're able to bridge some of the basic HR services that we need with Management Association. They offer consulting fees, that's what they do. They come in when people are on maternity leave or uh, Winnetka actually has a Management Association consult with them uh, twice a week and um, 
they pay, I think it was around 60000 a year for that twice a week consultant. Uh, if we hire a full-time HR specialist, we're posting it at 51 for full-time. So I just wanted you to know like the difference between the consulting rate and mm -hmm. having an in-house rate. It's actually a little cheaper. Well, no, you got a well, consulting rate. Right. So, yeah, it's 51 plus. 51 plus benefits You're right. time uh, off of whatever. Yes. So, okay. um, so the other question is, um, Oh, so that was, I guess that was, I answered okay. your question of, of process. So for 51000 yeah. can you get an HR person to do all those things that you're envisioning? That brings up that question. Well, I mean, you know. Um, I'm just I'm just curious. Uh, yeah, I, I hope so. Okay. I, I really hope so, and um, we will, I will do my best. Okay. All to right. be continued. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so... I'm sorry, I forgot where I was um, talking about. I think we got a director's report. I'm a director's little bit, you know, we. So, oh, and what, so talking about the postings and everything, um, I tried to outline is to explain the difference of what Sarah Beth's duties are versus the graphic designer versus this programmer. Mm -hmm. um, we went to ILA. I wanted to point out, I did attend a restorative justice program, which is Kathleen and I have been talking about social workers in the library. There are some really fascinating new ways of, of dealing with some of these behavior issues using restorative justice circles. So um, it's just something to think about and, and something I could use more training on, but something I would like to investigate. Um, we brought in the disability players from JJ's list, and they trained staff in person-first language. So that was a very good um, presentation, uh, just about being as inclusive and as welcoming as possible with our um, mm -hmm. patrons with disabilities. Um, the audit is done. Uh, Kenilworth passed their levy. Um, signage is in the works. We are working on design ideas. Um, we're yeah, I'm working sorry, Heather, and I, I probably read it incorrectly. Did Kenilworth Levy, it's just the same? I've read somewhere that it was under budget or something. Was that just a cash flow issue? Their levy increases according to contract. What? What do you mean? Is, is it, it the same? They, they levy at line. their maximum every year, and then they divide it up between us and when that All right, so there's just no but, there's but it has to increase according to contract. Every year it increases. It's spelled out. Okay. Yeah. Um, so uh, landscape committee has been uh, working on some ideas. Uh, we've been talking to the village about permits. Uh, at some point, probably in January, I'm going to come and ask you guys how you feel about uh, moving the uh, Pace bus shelter onto our property. Something to think about. We have to make that decision whether we want a new Pace bus shelter uh, with advertising um, on our property because it would be more ADA accessible. Plus it yeah, the current one isn't at all. So and they would just we'd give them some sort of easement, or yeah, and they would pay for it, but right. we would have to approve that. So right. that's just something that's going to come down the pike in January. Uh, I would. We went to the merchandise mart and met with our uh, interior designer, Paul. And we would like to buy some furniture uh, and do some rapid prototyping of the furniture. Because we know we want to change the use of our spaces. We want to encourage more comfortable reading zones. But we also want some social spaces. We want some participatory spaces. Mm -hmm. We want to make sure people know they can eat over in the media room. Maybe we need some cafe tables over there. Um, so all of those things we want to experiment with, furniture that's flexible enough that we can buy uh, pockets of it and just put it in place and see what happens with patrons mm -hmm. and see if they that's where they want to congregate. I would rather do that rather than making a huge commitment of, yeah, we're going to buy all this furniture and we're going to do, you know, because right. we want to see. Try stuff out. We want to try it first. Try I do before. think that's not a bad idea, but I do feel like, didn't we just buy a lot of furniture? in this renovation? For the second and third, third floors, floors, correct, but not for the first, first or, or the lower basement. level. Okay. Right. Uh, we had the garage sale. We got rid of right. the, about $500 worth. Um, yeah, I saw that. That's good. Idea. The auction uh, gave us $1,900. Oh. 
for the chairs in auction. Yeah. Oh, the, the, the Herman Leather Miller. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, um, yeah, that was good. Um, we've got the final HVAC unit. There is a new ordinance where we have to screen the HVAC unit. Um, but I, I got a, an estimate from our Hill HVAC company for $15,000 for the screen. And I said, yeah, no. <laughs> Good response. Um, and then I called the village and said, um, what are the, how's this ordinance work? Because we needed the permit. Right. And they, um, this is a new ordinance, and so they're doing their their roof too right now. The village. It's mm -hmm. just aesthetic. It has no safety oh. Oh. features at all. Okay. So then I asked, can we do a green screen, like some sort of like plants yeah. around it? And they're like, yeah, yeah, you could. So which would be significantly cheaper than cool. fifteen thousand dollars. Yeah, right. So. Um, I worked with the engineering department to go ahead and get our permit anyway. Yay. It's a success. Um, Congratulations. So thank you. I was very proud of that. Um, so we got the permit, and um, we, but we are absolutely required to have right. the screen, and we will uh, and we will install it this spring. So So the screen goes outside, around? It goes around the, the HVAC unit Could you to block it from view from the street. Could you get, like, a climbing wall and just grow the plants upright? Yeah. Because they, they sell those walls pretty a lot cheaper than that. A lot cheaper than fifteen thousand dollars. <laughs> <laughs> well, is that something that the people that are doing our landscape plan could also work on? Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah, yeah. that's a good idea. I'll, I'll ask her. Um, so I also had success with the um, parking lot. You'll be happy to know that um, I talked to the postmaster. Yeah. And it, was, it seems much better. <laughs> My bird's eye view. <laughs> talked to the postmaster about sending out an email to all their staff, yeah. and we talked about the importance of that and the seriousness of that. So, yeah, so, so far, better. Have you towed any of the so far, so good. We ticketed. Okay. Uh, yeah, we've been no, ticketing. No, it's much better. And that one day it was really bad. It was a leaf day, so it was mm -hmm. like all of the surrounding. Couldn't park. Yeah. You can't park. Yeah. So, but. Yeah. So the windows yeah. were clean. The carpet's been replaced. Um, yeah, things are cranking. Had around. an arch. <laughs> what yeah. else? Um, the book bike is here. It's in the basement. We're going to put it out in the vestibule uh, so people can name it and you can take a look at it. The annual report is done. It is online. Um, the only missing piece is that return on investment calculator. Um, Lisa, they're still coding it because it's a fill-in thing. Mm -hmm. So our company hasn't um, finished that part yet, but it is coming. Um, but take a look. Tell me what you think. I think um, it's really great. I was a guest reader at Central School, which was the highlight of, of my week. That was <laughs> wonderful. Um, and then I want to tell you, to remind you, January 19th and 20th is the Strategic Planning Conference. Right. So um, I hope that you can come Either for both square. days. Right. At Mallinckrodt. But Mallinckrodt. Mallinckrodt. Right. That's where it is? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So don't come here. Okay. Oh, no. <laughs> don't come here. You'll send an email. Room. My, okay. I've got it on my calendar. I didn't know Mallinckrodt. Yeah. Right. Okay. It's at Mallinckrodt. Yeah. Harry and I went out there and took okay. a look. It looks, yeah, you know, be good. it'll okay. be good. Yeah, um, the engagement team, uh, <laughs> you mentioned you wanted to do a, uh, a community conversation. Yes, I did. And what day is that? We the need to find a time awesome. for that if that. that's something you want to do. So, okay. Ah, that's it. A point of personal privilege. I'm sorry. The reason I was late is the reason I have to leave now. We got a sick kid situation. Aww. So, um, sorry. Was you know. It'll be five more minutes. Okay. okay. Yeah, so yeah. Apologies, everybody. Hope they get better soon. Hope they get yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Um. Okay. So committee. Here at strategic. Is there anything else we need to discuss? Um. The rest is all in the ILA. ILA stuff, uh, Jan was, is not here. The only, thing, so. the only thing interesting I would note is that, that there's a note that in Finland they have the highest literacy rate in the industrialized nation world, and it's the highest level of reading and library use of any. Yeah, then there, we have this article about Finland. So, yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, I'm going to yeah. take that home. And yeah, so that, you know, that's that's that was interesting. Cool. Very, very cool. Yeah. Everything's cool. <laughs> <laughs> We're done now. And the property tax freeze did not pass this time around, so yay, okay. yay for libraries. So, um, could... Motion to adjourn? Or I entertain a motion to adjourn. you have to ask new business, old business? Oh, any new business, any old business? <laughs> yes, any no. Time? Okay. Motion to adjourn. 
Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion is okay. I do have one other question, but I want to wait until after the meeting just to ask you just this on the